Recently, I put together a video on my experience with berberine, which people call nature's ozempic. It's more like nature's metformin, but whatever. I've noticed I'm much less bloated when I take berberine. I've gotten more trim. There's all sorts of other benefits, which I should probably cover in a separate video. But the biggest question I've gotten from that video itself is which brand is the best? So instead of pushing the certain brand, I figured I would just give you the framework to help you choose which brand is best. We're going to cover these three things really quickly because I know you're just as impatient as I am, which is why this is run down with Rachel. I get to the point on the various things that are helping me. If you feel like we vibe, would love for you to subscribe. Or if you feel like one of your friends would enjoy this video, would love if you forward it on to them. Okay, the three things. First, starting with, you got to keep in mind, the supplement space is the wild, wild west. For the most part, there's not much regulation going on. And the one thing that we can look to is that the brand is third party tested. Third party testing means that that supplement company has hired an outside agency to basically audit them, to make sure that they are doing what they say they are doing, that they have a clean space, that there's consistency in their product and much, much more third party tested. I'm going to list on the screen supplement brands that are third party tested that you can look to, but you can always look on the label or look on their website as well. That's the first thing. Second thing, when it comes to reviews, we all got to look at reviews with skepticism. Why? Because you do not know who's leaving that review. The review could come from that supplement brand, maybe an employee or a family member. You really don't know. And then the negative review could be what's called competitor sabotage, where a competitive company will hire an employee, a family member to leave a bad review. It's just important to look at reviews with skepticism. And I struggle with this because I'm just so easily influenced. I think most of us are, but this is a reminder that we've got to look at reviews with skepticism. This third point here is one that I think everybody who is a supplement whore like myself um, should invest in. And that's something called Consumer Lab. You pay $60 a year to have a membership to their research, their testing, where they will actually test popular supplement brands to see, does it contain what it says it contains? So for the example of berberine, they have a list of berberine supplements. They will test, okay, this supplement says it has 500 milligrams of berberine. Does it? No, it has like 472 milligrams of berberine. But you know what? That's pretty reasonable. That's close enough. That's approved. And they will have these different metrics that they compare the supplements on and determine whether it's approved. They will give you a top pick. They will also give you research to support whether that supplement truly does work. You know, the, the technology of it, is it supported by research or not? They will let you know things you need to be careful of or the contraindications that would prevent you from wanting to take that supplement. It really just helps you become more of an expert in this wild, wild west world we have with the supplement space. Now, the downside I would say for consumer labs is, you know, understandably so, they can't test everything. So some of these really popular, you know, podcast sponsor supplement brands. I would love to know what Consumer Lab thinks about them, but this is something to me, it's worth paying the, you know, it ends up being like $5 a month. I spend so much on supplements as it is, it's worth me paying $5 to help me make sure I'm purchasing the best one. So that's a rundown on choosing the right brand, whether it's Berberine or anything else, you wanna make sure it's third-party tested. When you look at the reviews, look at them with skepticism, when you hear from anybody, including me, like listen with some skepticism, you really can't trust anybody out here. And then um, Consumer Lab, I think when it comes to trusting an organization, that would be it. I haven't heard of any other, you know, YouTubers, influencers talking about Consumer Lab. This is not paid at all by them. I pay my own membership, but I think it's a resource everybody should be aware of. And that's why I wanted to cover it. I kept this succinct. If there's anything I miss, please be sure to list in the comments below. As with every video, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.